All right, y'all, so when I first built this PC, it was kind of like a test PC to see if I like PC gaming, and I love it, but I finally went out and bought the graphics card I deserve. Uh, Radeon RS 7800 ST, I got the ASUS version, and we're gonna install this today and see how much better it does. Giant graphics card. Then inside, it looks like we have a welcome card. Oh, that's pretty cool. But they also include a GPU mat mount to help hold this thing up, plus some stickers. This thing is huge. That's my hand for reference. This is substantially bigger than the one I have right now. So let's get the other one out right quick. Okay, so let's get this other GPU out. Disconnect the power connector. So GPU is real easy to disconnect. So right behind the GPU sits a clip similar to like in the memory card slot. So you just press this button and that opens up. Same thing going on back here. And you just take these two screws and you pull it straight back. See, come straight out. That easy. Just as a size comparison, look how much bigger this one is than the other one. I mean, look at the size comparison, how much it takes up in my case compared to the old. This is, yeah, this is a, this is a big boy. And of course, you gotta get all the plastic off. Otherwise, this thing will overheat. All right, let's get it in. I'm gonna take the protector off. Oh, this card's so big, I can't even use my GPU bracket. That's cool though, because this comes with a GPU stand, and the GPU stand also doubles as a screwdriver. But something crazy, this, this car is so powerful, it uses two power cables. Okay, so we got it wired up, dual power connectors, everything looking clean. All right, y'all, let's boot this up. RGB on it, <laughs> I forgot to mention that. So I decided to try all my old games using the same settings, but bumping up to 1440p to see if I could notice a difference, and I immediately felt it. Everything was clear. But what was crazy about this graphics card is it was also running at a high refresh rate. I'm talking everything smooth, but this is even more impressive when you add in the fact that, well, I'm playing on an ultra wide, which means I'm running at almost one and a half times the resolution, but still getting a good frame rate result. And everything was nice and responsive and I could still time my shots. For the next game, I tried Call of Duty. And this is a game I couldn't really get to run well on my last graphics card. I mean, it would run smooth and then it would start skipping around the map. But this time there was none of that. Cranked it up to 1440p and I could really see where I was going. I was taking targets out left and right. Now, this is really the best way to play Call of Duty. I mean, I could see everything. I could get myself out of bad jams. And in the Gulag, I was getting at least 145 frames per second. I mean, that's really smooth. And you know, in that situation, every second counts. Here we have the Avatar game that they give you free with these AMD graphics cards. And, and this game really stressed my last graphics card out. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty demanding game, but it looked beautiful at 1440p. And this graphics card was running right through it. So overall, man, I'm happy with this. 1440p is dramatically different than 1080p. And it's also been about a month since I started playing on the PC. So I think my last and final video will be just a quick review of what it's been like and the total cost of doing all this. Cause I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty expensive. And as usual, if you liked or you learned or you laughed, feel free to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you next time.